Hey everyone, so I often get asked where do I buy a good sword and the truth is I don't know. I always give the same answer, go and post on Reddit. And it's not because I don't own good swords, I do have good swords, but I don't know what a good sword is for you. So I like to break it down into three parts. Purpose, price and place. So the first one, purpose. What is this sword for? Are you using it just to admire and to look at? Are you using it for form training but not to cut or strike anything? Or are you using it for tamashigiri and cutting through targets? Because depending on the purpose, a good sword for each of those categories is going to be very, very different. So the second one is price. Are you looking for something entry level, mid level or very high end? And what's your, what's your budget after paying shipping and taxes and all the other import fees and the like? Because depending on your price range, then you know, there's a lot of recommendations that are going to be excluded because they just cost too much money. Now finally we get to place. Where do you live? Because if you have to ship this sword from halfway across the world, the price is going to drastically change. And whether it becomes worth it for the value that you get compared to how much you pay is also going to depend very much on how much it costs to get it from the manufacturer to your front door. So my recommendation is always go post on one of three reddits, r slash swords, r slash katanas, or r slash katana swords. So swords is really good for just swords in general, but they focus a lot on Hema swords as well. Uh, are katanas, as it sounds, then it's very good for katanas. And they're also experts in identifying katanas. And are katana swords is a group of my friends um, in America, and they will give you fantastic recommendations if you live in America. Now, a few places that I've heard good things about, many of which I don't have personal experience with. Uh, if you live in America and you do HEMA or you're looking for Asian swords, then Cult of Athena seems to be the top recommendation that is always responded to when people post, I'm looking for a good sword, if you're looking for HEMA swords or Asian swords and you live in America. Now, I don't personally have any experience with them because I don't live in America, but they seem to be a really good distributor of swords to America. Now, if you're looking for a mid-range candidate, then the Swords of Northshire pops up quite a lot in the recommendations. Again, I don't have any, I don't have any personal experience with them, but they seem to have pretty good press, and they seem to be used quite often, and people seem quite happy with the products from them. Now, if you're looking for Chinese swords, I don't think you can beat LK Chen. I personally haven't bought from LK Chen, but I do have plans to buy from him in future because he just seems to do Chinese swords really well and to a degree that most other Chinese manufacturers don't really do at that price range. Now, if you're looking for high end, then Goryeo Swords is a company that I have personal experience with. I've bought from them before and the products are pricey, but very well matched to the price. You get a lot of quality for the price and I would say that it's definitely worth the price with them. Now, another Korean manufacturer who makes katanas in Japanese style to a very high degree is Evolution Blades or Motohara Blades. And they seem to be getting very good press. They seem to have very good price to quality ratios. And it just seems like you get a very high end product for not Japanese prices. Now, if you want to get a true Nihonto from Japan, then Tozando sells um, newly made true Japanese swords. And I find that they're really good for people who know exactly what they're looking for. If you know exactly how long you want it, what degree of curvature, what style you want it in, then they can. it seems like they can make it down to the dot given their order form. Now, I haven't bought from them personally. I don't have that much money to spend on them, but it seems like that's, if you know exactly what you want, then that's where you should go. And the, their prices start from about 7,000 US dollars, so very pricey. So I hope you liked my explanation of where to go to find a good sword and what to post. So to recap it, post on either the Swords Reddit, Katana Reddit, or the Katana Swords Reddit, and tell them exactly what you're looking for, what you want to do with it, and what your price range is, and also where you live. And hopefully you get a good response. So with that, I'll see you next time.